You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I sit here with uh, Gene Bradley, a friend of mine, someone who I served with on the Library Board of Trustees, running for City Council at large. You having fun yet? I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. You're loving it? Nothing better than that. Well, I know you're a people person. You like talking to people, and uh, um, you've been everywhere around the community. What are you hearing from the people out there as you're going around campaigning? I see your signs popping up all over the place. They're like trees growing in the city. And you've been out and about. Uh, citywide is quite a, a race. It's yes, not indeed. a ward race. Mm -hmm. What are you hearing? What are the issues? What are people telling you? Well, before I even answer the questions, I would like to thank you so much for taking the time to give me the opportunity to be here. And of course, I would like to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time to watch this. Thank you to Brockton Community Access, and I think you guys have been doing a wonderful job in this community. So for me, sit here without mentioning that would be a mistake. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman. You know, I'm calling you Mr. Chairman because we serve on the Board of Trustees for the Brockton Public Library. But in terms of the questions, but before, I would like to let everybody know that my name is Gene Bradley. The went on court, most people call me Gene, but in French, it's Jean Bradley doing okay. So the question that I've been hearing, you know, on the campaign trail so far is that roads you know, public safety, education, youth empowerment, seniors. So these are the things that I hope we will be able to discuss as we get deep into this conversation tonight. And I think on your brochures that I've seen, you talk about education. Yes. You talk about public safety. I think yes. you have three, three yes. specific points. Yes. Okay. Education, as of right now, we have three, but we have six. So we, Education, we, the, the councillors at large mm -hmm. deal with city government as a whole. Mm -hmm. However... You vote the budget in mm -hmm. that the mayor puts forth. School department yes. is the biggest portion of that budget, yes. huge portion of that budget. Uh, recently, it's come to light that uh, the city is probably going to re-enter the lawsuit mm -hmm. um, that sparked education reform in 1993, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with the funding formula. What do you think about something like that? You're, you're probably, when you're going up campaigning, you're talking to a lot of parents mm -hmm. of children in the school system. I mean, you know, it's like what we mean by education. I mean, of course, we do know that we have a school committee in the city, and those are the folks who are elected right. by the people of Brockton, by the voters. So the reason why I choose education, as you know, education defines me. So for me, you know, campaigning without mentioning education would be a mistake. Let me tell you why. Because six years and a half ago when I came in this country, I could not speak a word of English. Fortunately, I was able to go to a program at the Brockton Public Library, which opened it up for me where I was able to learn English and went to Massachusetts and, of course, Suffolk University. So for me, education is the basic foundation for me in this country. And that piece of education that was given to me by the people of Brockton, I would like the same opportunity to be given to anybody who lives in our city. But I know that I cannot just work on education by myself. I am willing to work in collaboration with the school committee to make sure that our children receive the best quality education. That's what I mean by education. Now, the city council is one part of government. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the school committee, yes. the city council, and the mayor. You hear in the world, bank, in banking, it's all about the relationship. Mm -hmm. What about the relationship between the mayor of the city of Brockton and the city council, whoever those people are? How important do you think it is that there's a working relationship between the two? I mean, I think, you know, parties? we as, you know, we as public servant, that's what I call it, or we as future elected officials, I think we have an obligation not just to work, but to work together as a group for the benefits of the city. And what I mean by this is that, I mean, you cannot have a strong mayor without the collaboration of this, you know, city council. And we cannot have a great city council without the collaboration of the mayor. And I think we have to work as a group not as an individual. And of course, sometimes, depending on what the issues are, we will be able to sort of like take a decision on our own. But I think it's important for us to understand that we are here to work for the people of Brockton, not for us. And, I'm, and I think by recognize that our job is to represent the entire city, not just a small part of Brockton, it will give us the ability to work together as one for the benefits of Brockton. And I do believe it is important, it is interest of all of us, to find a way in which that can bring us on the table and talk about these issues that the people of Brockton voted for us to be in office. Now, one issue that's coming up a lot lately, um, the mayor has a proposal mm -hmm. to buy the desalinization plant for the secondary water source for the city. Mm -hmm. You could be on the council yeah. January where you might have to take a vote on this. Yes. 
What's your position on that? What are your thoughts on that? Have you heard from any of the people you're talking to when you're going out and knocking doors? Yes, and definitely. Place? And thank you so much for asking that question. I think it's very important for the folks who are watching this to understand that. I mean, as of right now, it is a very complex situation. Some people want it 100% and some people are against it. Here's what I can tell you. Um, I know that, you know, the price is $78 million. That's mm -hmm. a lot of money. And of course, as of right now, we are paying $6 million for it. So what I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of research to find out whether or not it is beneficial for Brockton to purchase it. So most of the people in Brockton have their own views about it. And I'm here to represent the people of Brockton. If the people of Brockton want it, why not? But if they are against it, why not? So what I'm trying to say is that I will not just talk just for the sake of talking. I will do my best to do the research to find out whether or not that deal is good for Brockton. I do believe it could be a good deal, depending on how much we will benefit from it. But if it's not, you know, I cannot just take a vote on it. So it's important for us. You know, this is the beginning. I'm not a city council at large yet. So this is the beginning. We are in the process. Mm -hmm. So after my research, if I come to the conclusion that spending $78 million is in the benefits of Brockton, I'll be more glad to do so. And if it's not, I'll be more glad to vote against it. Let me ask you a question. Um, statewide, mm -hmm. every time there's an election, there are ballot questions. Yes. What about having it on the ballot and seeing what the people really think about it? I mean, I'm not against that. Okay. Yeah. Couldn't get it on for this election because it's probably too late for that. But, that, I mean, if you think about it, residency back in the 90s mm -hmm. was on the ballot. The power plant was never on the ballot. There were people that thought that it should go on the ballot, mm -hmm. never did. Mm -hmm. So um, the other possibility besides the purchase of the desal plant is people have mentioned the MWRA, the Mass Water mm -hmm. Resources mm -hmm. Authority. Mm -hmm. Back in the day when it was created, that was a dirty word. Yeah. People didn't like that idea. Yeah. Too expensive, can't do that. Yeah. Is that any kind of, is that part of your research too? I mean, how do I put this? Yes, I do plan to, you know, I mean, as of right now, my team have been researching a lot of issues in the city so we can come up with the best solution for them. So what I'm trying to say is that, I mean, instead of like spending $6 million for nothing, if buying the plant, it's something that will be beneficial, like I said, beneficial with a capital B for Brockton. I'll be more glad to take a look at it because my job is to represent the people of Brockton, not to represent myself. You see what I mean? So I have an obligation to work together for us, not for me. Because the thing is that if I go for me, I'm just going to focus on me. But if I go for the people of Brockton, I think the people of Brockton should have the final word. And of course, if buying that plant is good for Brockton, why not go for it? But if buying the plane is bad for Brockton, I will, you know, I'll go based on what the people of Brockton want. Now, looking at social media, you're a, a factor, you're a presence, you're on there, you're communicating issues and advocating for your mm -hmm. campaign. If you get elected, how would you communicate with the voters? The so it's like, that's a wonderful question. Let's face it, we are facing the 21st century. And of course, as you know, technology is a big part of that. So I am planning and willing to do anything that we could possibly do to use technology to put the message out there and find a way that we can communicate with our voters much easier, and I think it's important. So for me, I will do my best. I will use social media, and of course, I'll use sort of like, you know, letters too. I mean, I can sit down, and I love sitting down, and, you know, write a letter and send it to a constituent. I would love to do that. So I'll use any means in a positive way that we could possibly find to communicate with the people of Brockton. Cable TV? 100%. Come on. I testify for that. I know I you did. And, and some of your colleagues, Michelle Dubois, the state rep, does a show. Yeah. Ann Beauregard does a show. Mm -hmm. John Buckley does a show. I would love to do Anyone a show, Anyone who's too. an elected official yeah. is eligible to yeah. do a show on Channel 12 on the government to communicate with your constituents. Yeah. So I'm offering that you up. You will I see my face. I mean, you will see my face. But, well, I'm not even elected yet. You see my face everywhere. And I can promise you, you will see my face. And I mean it. Okay. So what do I have for time left? I have five minutes. I want to make sure I give you two at the end so you can kind of do a wrap and <laughs> tell everybody what you want to say. But yes. um, um, do you think, uh, what's your role exactly with Senator Brady? You work in Senator Brady's yes. office. What's your title? So good question. So I do work for Senator Michael Brady and I've been working for the great senator for the past two years. So we, you know, we were in the House together. So we moved in the Senate after, unfortunately, Tom Kennedy passed. So my title is Director of Constituent Services or Director of Constituent Affairs. So anything that has to do with people's relations, I control that or I handle it. So that's my official title with Senator Brady. The reason I asked you that yes. is a city councilor at large mm -hmm. handles services for constituents. Yes, so that's what I do every would, single day. So now you do it in his district. Yes. You would um, 
do it for Brockton. Yes, that's what okay. One hundred percent. So, does, is that what drives you helping people? Of course, and well, I've been doing it since day one in this country, not just as a job, but I've been, you know, I, I used to intern for the former mayor of Brockton, Linda Balzotti. I used to intern for the former governor of Massachusetts, that's what I did, and I used to work for the Coalition for Social Justice, Raise Up Massachusetts. I mean, that's my call, and I don't know if you know, but as of right now, I'm serving on the board of trustee for the YMCA, so oh. serving the people is what I believe in, and serving the people is what I love, so being able to be in a position where I can help someone brings happiness to my heart, so I will forever doing my best to serve the people. I will be the servant. Four seats, mm -hmm. three people have served mm -hmm. in the position, three yes. are running for re-election. Mm -hmm. Council Shana Barnes mm -hmm. decided not to seek re-election, yeah. so there's, uh, everybody likes to refer to it as the open seat. Yes. I like to always think that all seats are open, I, whether I if you're it. good, the voters will return you, yeah. if you're not, yeah. they'll show you the door. Mm -hmm. But what do you have that you think you can bring to the table that's different than the, either the three incumbents or any of the challenges that yeah. you're running against? Well, before I even say anything, I would like to thank Shana Burns for serving our great city of Champion. I know she did a wonderful job, and I thank each and every single one of us owe her a lot of respect. Thank you, Shana, for serving. And of course, to the voters, she did a wonderful job, and I hope you will keep on praying for and all that. So in terms of like what I plan to bring on the table, let's face it, as of right now, as you know, you know, I speak a couple languages, and I think it would be a plus for Brockton. Being able, that's what I've been doing as, you know, in the state levels. You know, whenever somebody is not able to speak a language, if I know how to speak the language, I will do it. But here's what I can tell you. Public safety, I will do my best to not only focus on public safety, but more likely community engagement. Youth empowerment, how do we get our young people engaged in our community? Seniors, how do we make sure that our seniors feel safe, not only within the house, but also on the street? Homelessness, this is something that we're going to have to address. I'm willing to work in collaboration with different organizations to help them out. And of course, education, how do we make sure that the state gave us the money that we deserve so our children can go to school? So I will be the biggest advocate to advocate on behalf of our children for the sake of our school system. I will advocate for us. I will work in collaboration with the police department, the fire department, to bring the best quality service in Brockton. And of course, that's what I said, believe in Brockton, because Brockton is a wonderful place for everybody to be. I think I got the two minute cue. That's what's left. You get a minute and I have to wrap it up. Well, thank you so much again, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the opportunities. And of course, thank you so much to each and every single one of you. Some of you may see me for the first time. It's okay. My name is Gene Bradley, the winning court. I am running for Brockton City Council at large. Six years and a half ago, you opened the door for me in this city to give me a different way of seeing life. You give me hope, you give me a reason to believe in a lot of things that most people may not think that we have in this city. I want you to know that I will do my best for the education of our children, public safety for all of us, community engagement, youth empowerment, because I believe that each and every single one of us have a solemn obligation, not just to live in this city, but to contribute for the benefits of this city. And Brockton is a positive place. Now is the moment for us to start talking positively about Brockton. And I'm willing to do this because I've been doing it since day one. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I can count on your vote September 19th. Thank you. Thank you for being on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And we'll get you all back when it gets closer to the November election yeah. for a debate. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more candidates, but most of all, get educated. Watch Brockton Community Access Channels 9, 12, and 98. But most importantly, go out and vote. Thanks for joining us.